it's Danielson. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at a Transformers Legacy figure. It's Kickback. Now, I found this at a local Walmart here in Greenwood, Indiana, and I was actually shopping for some other things and found this by surprise. I loved the Insecticons as a kid and loved the original G1 figures. This looks pretty darn cool, so it was a no-brainer to pick up, and I think he's kind of short-packed in the case because there was only one there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Kickback in the packaging and it's one of those open face boxes I really hate. It's very cheap feeling. Um, it's got the Legacy logo at the top there. We get the Legacy logo Transformers right there. So just kind of a close up of him in the package. There's the side artwork, that actually looks really cool. I definitely dig that. And then the other side of the package has kind of some poster arts with some of the figures, very cool. Back of the package here shows him transforming in 14 steps from bot to insect, little grasshopper. And then there's the Q code on the back, very cool, very fun. And that's about it for the package. Let's get him out of box and see what we think. So here we have Kickback out of the packaging, and he looks pretty good. He's got wings for days on this figure, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. Not very much as far as hollow bits on the figure, which is nice. It looks like the G1 Kickback really well. We get these accessory pieces and the gun here. And what he comes with these, I guess they're Energon infused. So these kind of pop off and they plug into multiple ports on his body, which is kind of fun. They've got this kind of translucent purple that kind of fades to clear. It looks cool, I, I will say that. Um, it can also be used as a uh, kind of a sword. So you get a couple swords out of it. So there he is holding it uh, like a sword. And then you can also plug those onto the wings. Now you've got his gun. This is pretty cool. It's a little Tommy gun. Nice homage to the original uh, figure. I like the metallic purple um, that's got on the barrel and the, the you know round ammo part. So that's kind of cool. Definitely dig that. And again, it's, it's very G1-esque as far as articulation goes. It's better. He's got a ball joint on his head, uh, which moves around. He's got a twist at the waist, which is nice. Um, the wings do move up and down. They're very tight, though. Uh, his arms, also kind of tight, do move up and down. They can move outward like this as well. Um, he's got a really nice elbow joint right there, and then he's got a little bit of a wrist movement, but that's mainly for transformation. Legs kick that far forward. They kick all the way back. They do splay out quite a bit, which is very nice. And then you've got a mushroom peg at the upper leg. A very nice deep knee joint right there and then he's got some very hard to move stiff joints but that ankle rocker pivot we love with this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor taking a closer look at the figure itself I love the sculpt on it the head looks good it took me a while to get used to the very insecty looking wings. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm used to the chrome wings. These are very cool. They got kind of a smoke tint to them, which is neat. The chest looks very much like the original Insecticon chest, which is nice. The antenna are kind of rubbery, and they feel kind of weird when you go to transform the figure to move them. They almost feel like they want to break off, but they move around okay. All in all, it really has a great updated G1 look. The one thing I would have liked to have seen, maybe we'll get in a Studio Series version repaint of this, is a replaceable head that is crunched that Cup lands on in the movie. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. I like the arms. I think these are great. 
updates to what we got in the G1 version. The body's basically black, but a lot of good sculpt work. Now, the chest looks like it would open like the original figure, but it does not. Unfortunately, it's locked into place, but it does have some really nice silver paint apps behind that translucent yellow plastic, which is cool, and it's got kind of the little blue paint detail on there as well. Definitely cool. I just wish we could open that chest up. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, sculpted well. I like the paint detail. I like how the insect legs fold up into the back. Not a lot of kibble going on, which is nice. You get the spikes, which is very Insecticon-like. Love the red and yellow and purple paint apps. I think these are cool. And the fact that we get ankle rocker pivot on this figure is very nice. I will say though that the ankle rocker and some of the other joints like the arms are a bit stiff, so just be aware of that. For comparison, here we have the Transformers Legacy Kickback with the Transformers Bumblebee Studio Series Soundwave. Now as far as transformation goes on this figure, it's not too terribly difficult. So what we're gonna do is uh, start out by flipping the hands. So we're gonna do that, flip those around like this. And then we're gonna spin the head around backwards like this so that he should be looking backward. And then we're going to move the insect wings downward to kind of get them out the way. Then we're gonna flip this back piece up to cover the face like that. And then you're going to kind of wiggle the antenna upwards a little bit like that. So it's gonna look just like this. And we're gonna move the legs downward or the arms downward to form the legs and then split apart the arms so we can kind of get the insect legs up front like this. And then we're going to pull the insect wings upwards a little bit, like that. So it kind of looks like that. Just get them in the right position. And then we're going to take the legs and we're going to flip these downward, like that. And then we're going to take the little feet that are on a ball joint, pull them out, spin them backwards, like this. So it's going to look just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to pull the legs down, pull the little foot down, and then spin it around like this. So he's got his back grasshopper legs, and then we're going to fold the legs kind of upward a little bit, wiggle everything into place where they need to go, and then I just set it down on the ground, make sure all the feet are flat, and there we have our grasshopper mode. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look. So there we go. There is a kickback in his grasshopper mode, and it looks pretty good. Looks like an updated version of the G1 figure with the wings, very insect-like, very big, but I definitely dig it. I like the look. I like how the face is covered up. That's cool. I wish that we had a crunchable version from Transformers the movie, though. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. I like it. Reminiscent of the original. Love the little spikes on the legs and then we got our weapons so you're going to put the gun if I can get the focus here on the bottom of the kickback just like that so he's got his little blaster and then these pieces are going to clamp onto the wings there's these little ports here and we're going to clamp them on here but it's really kind of hard to do because you just can't see them very well so let me struggle with this for a minute all right, so you're going to clamp them into place. They're finally going to click in like this. So this is what they look like connected onto the insect wings. And let's do the second one. Hopefully this one doesn't just take near as long as the other one did. And we're going to look for it to go into place. There we go. Got both of them in. And yeah, that's what he looks like with both of the accessories on there. I kind of like the purple, it enhances it a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Can zoom out a little bit. Very cool. Almost has a deluxe Insecticon look with the Energon infused pieces. And that's not really a bad thing. 
I'd like to see those characters, actually. So is the Transformers Legacy Kickback a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? If you're a G1 fan, absolutely. Probably the best kickback figure that we have gotten. I really hope that we get the rest of these guys in the line. Uh, we have to. We get one, we got to get the other two. I mean, this is a great G1 upgrade, and it's a lot of fun. It's not too terribly difficult to transform, so kids are going to like that, and, well, it just looks awesome. So there he is, kickback from Transformers Legacy. Thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos, and follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.